There are many questions about how this outbreak might continue to develop, how the virus is spreading, and what measures countries should be taking to contain it. For more, we are joined by Dr. Martin Blazer. He is a past president of the Infectious Diseases Society of America and the current chairman of the Department of Medicine at the New York University School of Medicine. Dr. Blazer, thank you for being with us. Yeah, pleasure to be here. The European Union yesterday suggested that uh, people should not travel to the United States. And then on top of that, there have been a number of countries that have banned the importation of American pork products. I guess I'm asking, are these actions justified or do they simply spread more fear? Uh, influenza is not spread by food. So any food, whether it's pork or not, is not really relevant. So that, that's fear. In terms of banning travel, the, the virus has already spread really all over the world. So that period of containment, I think, is, 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 we're past that. And yet there are countries and there are places, including Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Russia, where they are imposing uh, quarantines on visitors, looking for people who may possibly have fevers. Uh, is that a good idea, and would that work? That's a better idea, because on a plane, there won't be that many people who have a fever. So that some of those people uh, may have influenza, and as the epidemic continues, those numbers may go up. And so that would be a way of, of cutting down on the importation. But not everybody would show a fever right away, or, or would they, perhaps? No, it, nothing is, is foolproof, but this is, a, this is a good public health measure in the appropriate circumstance. And as you look at how quickly this has spread, is it a factor that it's, it, it is moving very quickly or we just got onto it a little bit later? I, I've been looking at the data from Mexico and I think it's been going on in Mexico since February. And now recently it has spilled out of Mexico into the United States, across the United States and now into many different countries. So we're, we're a few, probably a few months into the, this epidemic. And given what you've seen by, by studying events there in Mexico, is there a way to understand how widespread it is down there? And, and then we start to get to the question of morbidity. Well, I've been looking at influenza surveillance records in Mexico City and in the whole country comparing 2008 and 2009. And it looks to me that it began to rise in Mexico City in, in February and then in other places a little later. And my guess is that there have been thousands of cases of influenza in Mexico, uh, most not reported. And so the, the number of deaths reflects the fact that there have been so many cases and uh, we know that some cases of influenza uh, will lead to fatality. Uh, but as far as a killer, so far? So far outside of Mexico it's been very mild like a, a typical influenza, not much different. And as far as what lies ahead? That's, what lies ahead is hard to say. It's the kind of thing where we can follow it day by day and week by week to see how it's building up. The good news is that summer is coming and that's bad for influenza. And so whatever the force of the epidemic might be, summer is going to knock it down. Will it knock it down completely? I don't know. Dr. Blazer, thank you very much for speaking with us tonight. Thank you.